welcome back to another free tutorial from the Twister Sister Studios. I'm Holly, the Twister Sister. I'm super excited to share this free tutorial with you guys today. I am in a new spot for this video. I'm actually here in San Antonio, Texas in my, at my parents' house visiting for a couple of weeks. This is my parents' backyard. Isn't it so pretty? So I thought it would be a great backdrop for the next couple of videos while I'm here. When I was thinking about what I could make to share with you guys this week, a um, couple of themes and different ideas were going through my head, but I just kept landing on a road runner. And my parents have actually had road runners run through this yard before. So what a perfect balloon to do for today. So this is a quick design. I wanted a nice fast road runner balloon because um, it can be uh, complicated if you make it complicated lots of different colors and details you could add but we're gonna do a line work road runner today so I've got three balloons here I've got a dark blue light blue and then you can do a yellow or a marigold color you might need two of the yellow so just have an extra one uh, standing by if you're not able to do it with one um, so four balloons max and then we'll add the details and stuff with some markers so I'm gonna start with the light blue 260 so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start at the very top of his head. So we're going to give him a nice whooshy fluff of feathers <laughs> on top of his head. So you want to make sure to squeeze out this balloon, maybe stretch it out a little bit. We want it to be very shapeable. So I'm just going to give him a nice little loop here for his hair. And we're going to grab that knot and twist it into our loop there and pull that knot right through the middle to lock it in place. If you want you can put a pinch twist here but you don't have to and I'll show you how you can get away with not doing a pinch twist later on in the video. At this point we're going to need to have a beak ready for him. So I've got my yellowish balloon and I'm going to do two loops. Not too big. So about that size. When you're making this character try to think that like it's a baby version of the Roadrunner. So cute, chubby, and fat. All right, so two small loops like that. Same size. And then for the part that comes out front for the beak, we're going to squeeze our balloon out so it's shapeable, fold it over. And then on beaks like this and ducks, what I like to do before I actually twist this in here is I like to shape my balloon first. So give it a little fold and a squeeze. You get that nice little curve and then twist it into those loops. So you're going to have a nice curved duck bill sort of thing like that. Okay. We're going to take our blue and however big you want his head to be, we're going to make a twist. So about two inches down. We're going to take this twist and place it right here at the center of our yellow twist. So just bring that blue, wrap it around just one full time, should be enough. And there you go. Now we're done with the rest of the yellow. For now, we're going to use the rest for his legs. Um, if you're not comfortable, if you don't have enough left over, that's where having a second one ready would come in. So I'm going to get rid of that and set it aside so I can reuse it possibly for the feet and the legs, depending on how long you want his roadrunner legs. Now one thing I wanted to show you with his hair floof here, um, we don't have a pinch twist here and because of that this balloon is not going to stay exactly where we want it. So let's say we wanted it to face forward like this. Um, because of the way that this is twisted it's going to go where it wants to go. However, what you can do is you can change the positioning of this balloon. So if you turn this balloon, this lip can face whatever direction it naturally wants to and we'll just change this and work with it, okay? So we want it to kind of flop forward. We're just going to turn this balloon to get it where we want it to flop and that way we don't have to bother with a pinch twist up there behind it. Okay, so moving down into his neck, we're just going to do a short length of a bubble here for the neck and then a pinch twist here at the chest. So squeeze, small bubble, fold that over and twist. All right, so we're going to stop here and grab our dark blue balloon and inflate it at this point. We're ready to integrate it into our design here. I'm going to come up about six inches or so and make a twist on my dark blue balloon. And we're going to connect that to the pinch twist here at the base of his neck. So just roll it in there. Okay, 
we want to bring all three balloons together and we're going to actually twist them all together so you can just do two at first if you want to measure off your blue balloons first and then twist them together using that knot that's probably the easiest way to do it and then you can take the nozzle and thread it through the middle so that that is locked in and then we can give him a little bit longer of a bubble for the light blue section that way we have a little bit of space between here where we can slide the legs through afterwards so let's go ahead and twist that in here okay and now what i want to do is i want to do his tail feathers so the dark blue is going to be the big middle tail feather and again i'm going to squeeze my balloon out so it's a little more shapeable and we want a big loop for that last tail feather and again before I twist this in I'm gonna kind of fold it over and squeeze it so that I can get some more shape on this so twist that in and then you'll see we'll be able to really shape his tail feather so it's got like that aerodynamic flow backwards type of look <laughs> and then I'm gonna do just two smaller tail feathers on either side with our remaining light blue and those can just be nice little simple loops that are just smaller like that okay and I'll do another one on the other side here squeeze it out and fold it and twist so we should have that at that point we are done with our blue balloons so you can go ahead and get rid of those however you like to get rid of your leftovers so I'm just going to use my fingers here get rid of the unnecessary parts and tie them off to secure them it would be a great little duck-like thing, but the, the head feathers and the tail feathers really turn this into a roadrunner. And when we add on the feet, you'll see. All right, so let's get those roadrunner legs running. I've got a brand new yellow here just to make it easy. I'm going to do his bird feet are just going to be a small round bubble, about a two-inch bubble, another two-inch bubble. So twist those together, and that's going to be one foot. Okay, and again, think baby, little chibi uh, roadrunner here. So don't go too long on the legs, maybe about three or four inches there. And then I'm gonna do a pinch twist for a knee. And the reason we're doing pinch twist here is so that you can uh, position the legs however you want. So it can look like he's in the middle of running with his legs going different directions, or he can be standing still looking around. We can really play with the positioning when we add those pinch twists. I'm going to take my, the end of my yellow, we're going to slide it above the light blue balloon that's on the bottom, through the middle of his body, all the way until that pinch twist is just outside of his body here. You don't want it sticking out too far, so keep everything tight and close. When we get to the other side, we're going to do a twist and then put a pinch twist here to match. So another little small bubble make that a pinch twist and you just want to try to get your legs to be the same size so use your eyes here and measure them and then another bird foot which is just about two inch bubble two inch bubble and then a round bubble and we can get rid of the rest of this if you want to clean up your design a bit you can hide these nozzles and tails by just taking them and wrapping around the foot. So it makes it look like they're nice and round and like a pinch twist sort of. So hide all those. And now you can have your Roadrunner just standing, looking around. You can move his legs like this. So it looks like he's in the middle of running away from my coyote. Let's go ahead and put his eyes on so you can see the full thing. Ta-da! <laughs> So there are the eyes that I do for this guy, just simple ovals with some white spots. And you can really add like some personality with his eyebrows. You can do like one mischievous looking eyebrow. <laughs> like he's like, can you catch me? Or just do regular cute eyebrows. <laughs> but that is my super fast line work road runner. I really love this one. So I hope you guys like it too. I do have clip art available for this critter that you can go to the Twister Sister Studios store and purchase. Uh, you can get just that clip art or you can join our Twister Hood membership and get access to my entire vault of clip art whenever you need it, any time of the day or night to make your balloon twisting menus with my entire 
library of designs. Um, the link, if you want more information on that, is down below. And make sure you guys stay tuned for next week because I will be making a friend to chase our little roadrunner around. Put down in the comments who you think that friend is going to be, and we'll see who's right next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more like it, it would mean the world to me if you'd subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys, and I'll see you all next week. Bye, everyone.